All right, y'all. Let's go. What is good, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Berry, coming to y'all with yet another reaction. Now, the title of this is, boom, reinforcements arrive for Kerry Lake after top senator makes unexpected move to change election. All right. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new and you're coming back for more of that dose, good dose is that. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank y'all for the love and support. And if you are on this journey, just expanding your knowledge and trying to find out the truth and what goes on in this place we call world, then y'all have come to the right channel. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in. We're going to dive into the video and then we're going to chat it up towards the end, y'all. Let's get into it. Got some breaking news out of Arizona. Carrie Lake just received unexpected reinforcements for her election struggle after a top senator filed an unprecedented lawsuit seeking to nullify the results of Maricopa County's election. Mm. And we have an update from Carrie Lake for you in this report you don't want to miss and will want to share widely. The second lawsuit could change everything, causing Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs to scramble in response. There's scramble. only one thing certain. This is great news for Lake and a major Uh-uh, not scramble. What are you scratch? What is going on? Y'all, let me say this real quick because I've been following this or whatever. Now, it was said for the ones who just, you know, tuning in or trying to catch up. It was said that on the day that on November 8th, when it was time for everybody to go vote in some places and in some areas, Republican side, Republican side to be exact, machines were down and were not working out. It could have been more other places, but this is just what has been floating around in the news or whatever. Now, I myself was watching on November 8th and Carrie Lake was smoking Katie Hobbs out the, out, out the okay? And out of nowhere, she wins. Oh, no, wait, whoa, were we watching the same thing? Hold on. All right, so I've been following uh, along with, um, and not only did it took weeks, everybody's like supposed to be election day, not election month, but it took weeks after that trying to figure out, you know, I guess talent, whatever goes on when that goes on. And you had a lot of people in Arizona going to the board and expressing their thoughts and what they was feeling and how it wasn't fair. And then not only that, forcing people to, uh, to, to, to certify, to say that the votes were right when we all know, the world knows that a lot of people left and was not able to vote. But we're forcing people and if they don't do this, they can potentially look up the, having jail time. So Carrie Lake was like, oh, nope. I'm doing something about this. Okay. I'm doing, I'm, I'm standing for what is right. I'm going to do something about this. And you mean to tell me that Katie has is scrambling and stuff like that. I even heard that she didn't even show up to court. Or maybe the, the I don't know. If you legit, ain't no scrambling. Ain't no bagging down or nothing like that. No, you stand tall. You stand strong. You believe in what you believe in. Ain't no scrambling. What's going on? What's really going on, people? Let's get into it. That was just a little of me trying to speed y'all up to what was going on for those who don't know. I may have left a few things out, but you got me. Let's get it. Lawsuit could change everything, causing Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs to scramble in response. There's only one thing certain. This is great news for Lake and a major twist in the race. Mm. All eyes are on Arizona. I'm Gary Franchi. Okay. News breaks every day here. Be the first to know when. Tap subscribe and stay informed. Let's go. Reinforcements have arrived for Kerry Lake after top Senator Sonny Borelli made an unexpected move to challenge the results of the November 8th midterm elections in Maricopa County. Borelli, with assistance from the Mojave Republican Party, filed a lawsuit in Mojave County Superior Court against Katie Hobbs, Gates, and other Arizona officials. The move was met with enthusiasm from voters and senators statewide, as many saw it as an opportunity to get justice for those who feel their voices weren't heard in the right. election process. It's no surprise that Kerry Lake has received such a surge of relief and positivity in response to her suit. All eyes are now on the court proceedings to see if an outcome favorable to her will be ruled in her favor. 
Before we get to the details of this new lawsuit, let's get to Kerry Lake's critical update. Watch. Arizona, America, Carrie Lake here, and I wanted to give you a critical update on our fight to save our state. My legal team has been working nonstop investigating and gathering sworn declarations from mm. whistleblowers and witnesses, building the strongest election lawsuit in U.S. history. Mm. Our lawsuit exposes many of the issues that have plagued our election system in Arizona Come on. and disenfranchised Everywhere. hundreds of thousands of Arizonans. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that election day in Maricopa County was an absolute debacle. The election was a sham. Everyone knows it. A recent poll shows 72% of Arizona voters, Republican, Democrat, and Independents alike, agreed that voters were deprived of their right to vote on election day here in Arizona. Widespread tabulator and ballot printer failures at 59% Ooh. of our voting centers in Maricopa County forced Arizonans to wait in line for as long as five hours to cast their sacred vote. Over half of all polling locations were inoperable on election day. What's an acceptable level of failure in election operations? Is 60% failure enough? Or do we have to have all of the machines go down before we say enough is enough? Election day operations in Maricopa County were a nightmare, but the issues that plague our system <clears throat> far exceed election day. Arizona faced the most egregious case of the fox guarding the hen house when Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, my opponent, refused to recuse herself from overseeing her own election. Mm. And just days ago, we learned that Hobbs, alongside Maricopa County election officials, used their power granted by the Arizona voters to abuse their office and censor their political adversaries, including what? Arizonans. To put it simply, the people running elections in Arizona worked with the federal government to remove speech that they didn't like from social media platforms so that they could continue running botched elections mm. without criticism or critique. This is an egregious assault on our First Amendment rights. Come on, preach, Kate. And then the two men responsible for conducting preach, election Kate. operations in Maricopa County, you can't make this up, started and supported a super PAC aimed at taking <laughs> us down. That's right, Stephen Richer, the county recorder, with the help of his friend, Supervisor Bill Gates, operated a PAC whose sole purpose was to defeat me, wow. all while they controlled the ballots and the elections. Knowing mm. that, how could anyone believe the breakdown of Election Day operations was anything but intentional sabotage? Their hatred of me and our political movement, made up of we the people, should have been enough for them to recuse themselves from anything having to do with elections. But they didn't do that. Instead, they turned Election Day into a debacle, knowing that our supporters were planning to vote in huge numbers in person on November 8th. In addition to a sabotaged election day, my lawsuit includes a declaration from a whistleblower from Runbeck claiming that nearly 300,000 ballots with no chain of custody were counted, infecting the legal vote count hmm. when the elections laws and rules clearly state that they should not have been counted at all. Hmm. Other whistleblowers came forward to declare under threat of perjury that tens of thousands of ballots did not pass the signature verification process <sighs> set up to keep illegal ballots out. Only for those rejected ballots to be counted anyways. Another violation of our laws. Mm. Whistleblowers explained how security measures passed by law were blatantly ignored and skirted to infect our election. When that happens, every single legal voter in Arizona, Democrat, Independent, and Republican, are disenfranchised. Also in our lawsuit, surprise, surprise, 25,000 ballots appeared out of nowhere two days after Election Day. And many more uncounted door three ballots were mixed in with already counted ballots oh, than Maricopa Lord. officials admit to. And also a sworn declaration from a cyber expert who worked nine years for the company that certifies Maricopa County machines, explaining that the widespread machine failure on election day on. in 59% of vote centers could not have been accidental. Mm. The lawsuit is so revealing. And if you want to read it, you can go to our website, savearizonafund.com.
It's wow. right there on the homepage. Our movement is so powerful Damn. that those running our election system, including the woman I ran against, had to pull out every trick possible to silence our voices and trample on our sacred vote. Now, if they thought we would just sulk and accept the results of a rigged <sighs> sham election, they were wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. We need Carrie Lake in all states, okay? Because if this happened in Arizona, you know doggone well it's happening everywhere else. The problem is we don't have Carrie Lake. Everywhere. Someone who genuinely knows that it was so screwed up and how things can be so twisted and all the machine and all this other type of stuff and people not being able to vote and, and somebody just downright wins. How? When we all was watching, the world was watching and seeing that Carrie Lake was winning. I'm just like, you, and I'm not even surprised or whatever. Not anymore. Because I know how it goes now, you know, since I've been on this learning journey. But I'm pretty sure it happened in other places as well. We just ain't have to carry Lake to stand up and be like, oh, no, 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 no. Something ain't right. Nope. Uh-uh. I, I, I. Let's get it. Wrong. My resolve to fight for the millions of Arizonans disgusted with years of botched elections mm -hmm. is stronger than ever. I want to say thank you to Tired all of you it. who are praying for me and supporting me in our movement. Please pray for the brave witnesses, whistleblowers, and citizens who saw what happened and documented it, and for our patriotic, courageous legal team. And pray for the judge who's overseeing this case. Yeah. The world is watching what happens here. Do the right thing. We, the people of Arizona, demand honest elections, and we won't stop until we get them. We, the people, period. Arizona, I love you with all my heart, and together we will restore faith and honesty in our elections. Let's go. Now back to that unexpected lawsuit. Epoch Times reports that on Tuesday morning, Maricopa County Supervisor Steve Gallardo criticized GOP State Senator Sonny Burrell's filing on Twitter. And according to him, Borelli is using our judicial system to continue the frivolous and ridiculous efforts to undermine our democracy. According to his Twitter post, the lawsuit is wasting the taxpayer dollars and the court's time an unfounded conspiracy stating the plaintiff and their attorneys must be held accountable. Reinforcements have arrived for Kerry Lake in the form of a powerful move made by a top senator, Sonny Borelli, to challenge the results <coughs> of the November 8th midterm elections in Maricopa County. The heat is on in Arizona as people all over the world watch what's happening. And it serves as an important reminder that we must have open, fair, and transparent elections nationwide if our republic is to survive. Yes. It starts in Arizona now that reinforcements have arrived for Kerry Lake, a glimmer of good news for those praying for victory at the polls. Let's go. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below right, for the next news on. network. I'm Gary Franchi. All right, Gary. Thank you for watching that report. Let's talk more about spending time with friends and family to catch up over the holidays because there's nothing like it. Okay. However, with all the traveling and downtime, it's easy to lose track of what's going on outside and in the markets. There's no need to worry about it anymore, thanks to Noble Gold Investments. Earlier this year, they launched a YouTube channel devoted to precious metals and finance. To help you understand what's going on, you'll find short videos in everyday language. Watch the most trusted channel in gold and silver by subscribing today at the link in the description. We'll see you at the next report. For the next news network, I'm Gary French. All right, Gary. Till next time. You possess the power to impact. All right, y'all. So let's talk. Um, it starts within Arizona, y'all, and it's going to move its way around the world. I mean, because it comes once a year. We just want to vote for who we want to vote for and just have a real good, clean, fair race. Okay. It's definitely not just Arizona. It's just that Arizona got to carry Lake and she ain't planned for that. We know we all watched what we watched and seen what was going on. Ain't no way that you can say that that's a fair run when majority of people didn't even get to vote. And the ones that did vote, some of their votes got lost. I mean, y'all heard it. You gotta think this is only happening in Arizona. So I'm hoping that Arizona gets the victory that they need. Rather they got to do a redo, whatever they got to do to where they can go to sleep at night and say, hey, my voice matters. 
I'm praying and hoping that it works out for y'all. Not only that, I'm praying and hoping that we get more Carrie Lakes around the world that actually will look into this and be like, no, nah, something ain't right. Let's do something about it. That's the least they can do for the people who go out and vote because we want our voices heard. All right. Y'all, let's talk in the comment section. If y'all been keeping up and following along with this story, Arizona, let me know what your thoughts are. Let's be respectful in the comment section, y'all. We I'm normalizing real conversation in the comment section, okay? Meaning, hey, we're going to be able to talk whether we agree or disagree. We still going to hug it out. Love you. You That's your perspective. That's how you think. You know, that's your thoughts. Cool. You know, I agree with you or, oh, no, nah, I don't agree with you, but I still got love for you and respect for you. Respectfully be respectful in the comment section. It's that simple. We're all adults here and we should be able to have a real conversation. And at the end of the day, it's all love. All right. All right. Let's talk. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. Happy holidays. Happy December for ones that's not maybe not be celebrating the uh, holidays. Merry Christmas, like my boy Tom McDonald said. Happy December. <laughs> well, happy December, y'all. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in, kicking it with your girl. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Until the next update on the Arizona, y'all. Be safe, remain safe, smile a little, laugh a little. Until next time, yo, your girl is out.